<laughs> Welcome back to the morning show on XL7 TV. It's time for This Week in Real Estate with Bob Zadora. Bob Zadora of the Z Team, Century 21 Lee Mac Realty. How are you, sir? I'm great. I'm great. How are you? Peachy. Weather's uh, peachy. Changing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's fall in the Ozarks. The trees are pretty. How have the colors been from up on top of the ridge? They've been pretty good, pretty good. Not as good as I thought they were going to be. I was, I was a little. I mean, it's still pretty, but it's not. I thought they'd be because of the rain and the all the, way rain the cold we had was and the everything. Summer, you would right? Think yeah, I thought we... that things would hold a little better. Uh, yeah. It's kind of cool at night. You can really see how the light matter. You know, it, when once it gets dark, it it really sparkles. Yeah, uh, that's that's a cool effect up there. But the season changed. We were out. Uh, Looking at some land that was out a little bit, and there's a lot of good color. It's you know, fall in the Ozarks. It's just pretty. It's beautiful. Yes, sir. And the temperatures are just wonderful. You know, it's uh, November, first week in November, and we're still wearing short sleeves. And the other day I was at lunch with my brother, and he's wearing shorts. And it just and, like. And a week ago was freezing. Yeah. And a week ago, somebody <laughs> slammed the door shut and turned the air conditioner on. And man. Yeah. Yes, indeed. It was cool. You never know what you're going to get. The one thing they do say but about Arkansas, if you don't like the weather, hang around 24 they, hours. They say that everywhere. It they say the same tomorrow. thing in Chicago. They say the same thing in Bangkok. They say it's, <laughs> it's the always same. the same. It doesn't matter. It's always the same. Stick around 24 hours. And that's why we get you guys in the morning to give the people the weather. That's why we sponsor the weather so that they know what's going to happen to them that day anyway. You may say it's going to do this three days from now. Maybe not so much, but you can tell them what it's going to do today whatever the days are. On the weekend, you're on your own, but Monday through Friday, you come in with Scooter and Bob, and you're good to go. How busy of a week have you had with real estate this week? Interest rates Excellent. dropped a little bit? A little bit, a little bit. I mean, it's kind of like gasoline. It goes up in quarters and comes down in pennies. It's, it's really what it's, what it's speaking doing. speaking of gasoline, it's down under yes. three bucks. Yeah, yeah, it didn't take too long. It's been under three bucks downstate, down like towards Little Rock and towards mm -hmm. Conway and stuff. It's been under there for a month and a half. Well, they got to truck it in, you know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it, but it is. It's under three dollars now, so that's a good thing. Um, Going to help a little bit. But the interest rates have fallen some. Uh, in fact, I got uh, two notes from Chris last week saying that you know they dropped. He usually sends a one notice out and. He sent two out, saying in like in one day they had dropped again. Wow! So that's a good thing. Uh, I was following up on some stuff, and eighty percent of the mortgages are five percent or less, and that's where we're really having problems. That's where the bottleneck is. Nobody wants to dump their five percent mortgage for an eight percent mortgage. Mm -hmm. So that's what's keeping the the housing stock down, and that's. It'll change. Life events happen, you know, as we talk about that all the time. Uh, but the for someone to take that big of a jump, and then that's really what's hurting the kids. It's what's hurting the first-time home buyers, even the move-up buyers. Mm -hmm. You know, they're they're in at some of those less than five percent loans because they bought their house over the past couple of years, and they they hesitate to make that next step that they normally would. Uh, it's then the market has slowed down some from that. You can see that we're down. We're a little below 19, which was pre-COVID, uh, and the rates then were actually in, in 19. They were down in the mid threes, um, and things were chugging along just fine. COVID came, and then they dropped them again to keep the economy going, and that was good for things. But there's other things that didn't go. You didn't all the CDs, people that rely on their investments, they weren't making any money. Mm -hmm. You know, the banks weren't paying anything on checking accounts, savings accounts, anything like that, because the money wasn't coming in. Now they're paying more uh, for CDs and money markets and things like that because the rates are higher, but they're not selling as many loans. So it's, it's kind of a, you're still servicing those loans that are 3 4%, trying to get that, trying to make enough money on that to pay 5% on a CD. They're... There's got to be some creative bookkeeping in there somewhere, mm -hmm. but um, it, the economy's got to—it's got to shake out. It's the number of homes is we're over 300 for the first time in a very long time. Uh, we're, we cracked 300, and there's really aren't as many. There, some of the stuff is selling right away. People want to come, but for like I say, for the first-time home buyers and things like that, it's just—it's too tough to do it. 
you just physically can't afford it. <clears throat> what do you say to the potential buyer that's out there that says, well, we're waiting on two things. We're waiting for the interest rate to come down and we're waiting for the prices to correct themselves and come down. What's your stand on that? I think that, as, as you have said, and, and it's true, the best time to buy a house was yesterday because you, you're dating the rate and it'll be a lot easier to find a home now than it will be if the rates take a, an appreciable dip, fall. There's, there's a ton of pent-up buyers that are waiting to get back into the market and they're going to jump in and that's going to force the rates, uh, excuse me, the price of the homes up. Hmm. So you're better to be in the house now no arms, no arms. Bob Zadora said no arms. Pay the 8%. It's going to be tough for a little while. And it's not 8 anymore. We're down into 7.5, I think seven, is what yeah, I saw. Yeah. yeah, so that it, it, it's depreciated. It's come down some. Mm -hmm. uh, but get the rate now, and then it's a lot easier to refi when you're sitting there in your own living room saying, yeah, this is the house that we wanted, as opposed to and getting it, refinancing the mortgage than trying to find a house and then with the mortgage to fit, saying that, well, we got, we got the mortgage, now we got to go find a house. Find a house, take the bigger hit on the mortgage, which is easy for me to say sitting here. I understand that. I do understand that. But if there's any way you can do it, if, you, if you're looking to participate in the housing market and buying and selling homes, that's unfortunately, that's where we are right now. Because the chances of both of those things happening together. Right. Are pretty slim right because like you say the prices are going to get forced back up because there's going to be so many people that are looking to buy there's a lot of pent-up stuff people waiting to do things and i think that if you if you're in the home you if you can find your home right now now's the time to do it yeah, and people are dealing swing. a little bit more i mean there was a time there there was nothing i'd go through the the sales for the week and there was nothing under list price yeah. and they were listed high yeah. And it was nothing under list price. Now you're seeing it now probably 75% of them have taken less. Some it's a, a minuscule amount, but some it's an appreciable amount. But the negotiation factor is back in play. Yes, it is. There is some room for negotiation. So if you have the down payment, you have the wherewithal to go ahead and get this done, you're, you've got a pre-approval letter from your mortgage company, yep. potential mortgage company, uh, and you're ready to go, you've got things lined up, take the step. Yes. Go ahead and take the step now. Yes, and now's the time to do it because they say the prices are going to go up as soon as the, as the rates come down. Those prices are definitely going to go up. It's just, and we're in a supply and demand thing, and people still want to come here. And you got a lot of first timers that are waiting to get out of mom's basement. That are you know they want to get married, they want to have families, they want to live life, mm -hmm. and they just they just can't do it. And they can't do it at, at these rates right now. But if you can hang on for a little bit, you, you're going to. Be happy. You'll be much happier uh, going forward. Yeah. Stay away from the arms. I really <coughs> explain. I some folks, first-time buyers may not know what an arm is, so please. Well, explain it, they've that. been looking. It's it's an adjustable rate mortgage, and the uh, unless you're going to take one, if you can get one for like five years, you might be better off. Um, it might be okay, but anything in the two threes, because mm -hmm. uh, the rates change, and say they bump up again for some reason. God knows, we still got another, this administration still got a little ways to go. Rates change again, uh, and all of a sudden your payment goes from $1,800 a month to $2,000 a month, and you just flat can't do that. You're kind of out of the box. That was what happened in 08. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of the mortgages that were given out, and they didn't do as good of a job in 08 of, with taking care and making sure that people could actually buy homes now they just want they, to sell money they just want it's all that we're trying to do is tra turn, keep churning that money it was mm -hmm. all they were trying to do and uh they learned their lessons and the g came in and one of the few things good things that the g has done over the past decade or two and they they stopped all that and made sure that you could actually afford that house before they put you in it and that's a big difference let's take a look at your numbers this week in real estate there were 50 new listings came on the market, three commercial properties, 14 parcels of land, but 32 homes came on the market. They range in price from 89000 to 699000 and four of them are taken back up, so that's something we haven't seen for a week or two. Uh, there were 42 sales, one commercial property, 12 parcels of land sold, 29 homes sold, 
They range in price from $30,000 to $415,000 with an average sale price of two sixteen dollars with 81 days on market. Seven properties expired, 31 had price changes. That, that's residential, that's not all the, the whole market, residential. Um, currently, I can say we're at 304 homes listed on the MLS. So that's the first time we've been over 300. So you'll start to see it turn into a little more of a buyer's mm -hmm. market to be able to come in. And you're, we're seeing more negotiations. Mm -hmm. And sellers, you know, when you sit down with them and you talk to them, it's, you've got to tell them, this isn't 2021 anymore. The market has changed. These interest rates are hurting you, even though you're not paying it, it because it's how much the buyers can afford to to buy yeah you have some com competition out there with your house being on the market though. yes indeed yes indeed so uh, year to date there's been 933 homes have sold uh, the average sale price this year is two hundred and twenty eight thousand dollars with 86 days on market last year there had been a thousand fifty four homes that sold uh, the average price average sale price last year was 220 with 79 days on market uh, going to 21 there was 1134 sales uh, in 20, there was 1,072. So, I mean, it just the market was nuts. In it. But that's people were buying stuff sight unseen. They were mm -hmm. doing any house at any price, multiple offers. And that we knew that wasn't going to last and it wasn't realistic. There was a lot of things going on. And uh, so I don't know that we'll, well, we may see that again. If they drop the rates like a full point, they got up tomorrow and said, we're going to drop the rates a point. We're going to just see what happens in the economy you would see that again. I mean, you would see people tr just trying to get into anything they can, trying to get out of where they are. It's more, a lot of times it's trying to get more get getting out of where you are than trying to get to where you want to be. There's, there's a lot of that that goes on as well. Um, we talk about being busy. Uh, we're, you know, that we're running here, we're running there, but we're never too busy. We're never that busy that we can't come and talk to you, that we can't, we didn't, can't spend some time, that we can't come out and take a look at the house, that we can't give you advice uh, on what's the best road for you and what's going to work best for you to sell your home, uh, to buy a home. And, but we're going to make sure that you've got the information that you need. You know, my job is to make sure that you make good, informed decisions. And that's a very, very important thing, especially in these times where there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of irons in the fire. And to make sure that, um, that, that you do make, that you know what's going on. We've been doing, Linda and I have been doing this for going on 20 years, pretty close. Um, and the rest of the team has been doing it for a while. Reese has been doing it for a long time. And we're here to help people make those good decisions to make the right decisions you know help you find the right home for the right time of your life is more than just a catchphrase i mean that's really what it's all that's about for all real estate <laughs> yeah exactly so uh what you want to do is you want to call my honey call linda she's at 870-405-0793 check out the website retired to arkansas.net uh, you see the pictures every morning here on the morning show and you can see the skies over cotter uh, you can see the sky all the way up into Missouri and uh, the river, how high the river is and things. And the guides will call and say, camera's not working because cause they're, cause they're looking to go out. So that's kind of a cool thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be on the I, happy birthday to my Marine brothers and sisters, Semper Fi. Uh, good, have a good Labor Day. Uh, yeah, good Labor Day. A good Veterans Day, excuse me. Uh, make it down to the square and see the... Uh, event that goes on there and um jason estrenko is going to be the speaker the headline speaker there he's a uh, combat pilot with who worked with the um, um what would you call them special operations groups uh to fly them in and out of places that nobody can tell you where they've been those kind <laughs> of guys uh and he's done that and he's going to be the lead speaker there on the square and it's going to be a good event for everybody that's saturday november the 11th at 11 right. o'clock at plaza mountain home plaza 2000 it's the veterans plaza there, 11 o'clock downtown that's right. and i'll be on uh wednesday for the auction for the lions club at uh, nine o'clock uh join me don't laugh but buy stuff, okay? Buy stuff quickly while I'm on there so we can keep it moving along. Get the night done. <laughs> Get the night done. There you go. You've been watching the morning show on XL7 TV. It's the 
This Week in Real Estate with Bob Zadora, Century 21 Lee Mac Realty, 870-405-0793 is our number. Retire to Arkansas.net is our website. These are realtors you can recommend to your friends. They're folks that are busy but never too busy to help you. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back with Football Friday in just a moment. Go Bombers! <laughs>